Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this episode of the Parts Bin, where we are talking about oil. Oil is very important for your engine, and what upgrades are there out there? All right, so when you're building a high-performance uh, Cummins engine, most people don't do much with the oil system. If you want to spend a lot of money, you can go buy a dry sump system, has an external pump, multiple different stages, different pressures, they're really, really amazing. They don't fit too well in a stock body, and they're, just nobody does them. And it's at the very, very top level, and even a lot of those guys don't do them because the stock system is pretty capable. The 5.9 pump is what most people use, and what I've used in the past, but we have had some issues at real high RPM that we thought we needed more oil pressure, and more oil volume. So we didn't want to go to the expense of doing a whole entire massive dry sump system. So we decided we wanted to try to see if we can put the pump out of an 8.3 liter Cummins into our 5.9 or 6.7 blocks. And that had a few challenges. It, for one, it doesn't fit. It's close, but not quite. So we had to do some machine work on the pump itself. The reason we thought it was worth doing is every revolution, the 8.3 pump moves 42% more oil than the 5.9. So that's a big jump in oil. That's going to help your oil pressure, oil volume, uh, keep your oil, your bearings alive at high RPM, and just it's, oil is just uh, it's called the lifeblood of the engine for a reason. You lose oil pressure, bye bye engine, it dies. So there's a few modifications we had to do on a 5.9 block to make this work. On a 5.9 block, the stock pickup tube is 7 eighths of an inch. That's the diameter of this tube. And that is a restriction. On the com you common rail guys are lucky. The common rail tube is actually 1 and 1 eighth inches in diameter. We don't have to do anything on a 6-7 block. The stock tube works. But on the 5-9 blocks, um, and the, the older, the ISB and the storm blocks, if you want to run an 8-3 pump, you need a bigger pickup tube. This thing will become a severe restriction at about 4,000 RPMs for this pump. Actually, if you try to run an 8-3 pump with this pickup tube, by the time you get to 4,000 RPM, it's actually start pulling vapor. You're gonna start putting vapor into your bearings. It's actually gonna be worse than a 5.9 pump. So do not put an 8.3 pump in your 5.9 engine if you keep the stock tube. So we actually had to make a new tube for the 5.9 trucks. So this is one inch in diameter, and um, that is actually the size of the inlet on the block. So there's no reason to go bigger because the bottleneck's right here. So one inch, and plus we really couldn't fit a one and an eighth with the way it fits in the 5.9 block. It's just a little bit tight around the crank throws and stuff. So an inch is as big as we can go and this is big enough for this pump that you won't have any oil starvation or vapor lock issues. It's going to work real good for you. But it's made to fit the 5.9 Cummins. And so literally when you run the numbers with this pump you know working you have literally half the pressure drop half the pressure drop from here to here as you would from here to here. This thing is very restrictive on this pump. So, we've had a lot of questions. We put this pump on our UCC engines and we showed people that in our Meet the Engines. We've had quite a few people call and ask if they could do this to their engine. And so we decided we'd make, a, make it possible for those guys. So if you have a common rail engine, you can just buy, you can get the pump. We can modify it to fit your engine and it will work with your existing pickup tube. 5.9 guys, you need to get one of these tubes as well. And so put this in your engine and you won't starve your engine for oil. And uh, we see a, a big increase in pressure at idle. We see a lot more pressure at RPM. So for the race guys, I mean, I, I love it. I, it's a very economical way to increase your oil capacity without spending a ton of money on a dry sump system. Anyway, that's the parts bin for today. I uh, hope it's informational, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time on the parts bin. Thanks.